another thing I want to talk about in, in regards to um, cr criminal cases and stuff. Um, if someone is, is um, you know how usually there's there's people that support the prosecutor and, and people that support the, um, um, the, the accuser or the the, the the accused um so if if, the, if there's two courts inside and and say someone in the in the anna case there was a story of of the the, the woman who um was drugged by her husband and and was he was trying to kill her basically and he take took out a big life insurance policy because he was hoping to kill her and make a million pounds from it um you know i i feel like I don't know what's if that guy is still if i mean i'm thinking maybe that guy is just lying in prison right now and he's going to be in prison for the rest of his life they were both in their sort of late 60s or something so um you know i i just i i feel like what he did was bad and he definitely deserves to go to prison um but he he's another type of example of someone that i think doesn't deserve a long sentence you know um he could obviously see that his wife has gone mad you know his wife was was talking about talking to the holy spirit and the holy spirit telling her what to eat and you know she was obviously having daily conversations with with something in her head and and then having she was saying things like um he r-worded me whilst i was unconscious and put xanax in in her, her mouth while she was you know half paralyzed whilst also awake you know she was saying terrible things if that was to go to court and she was just to bring up the sort of that story you know he the the husband would seem like a monster and would go to prison for the rest of life his life and, and i agree with that but if on the circumstances that she is actually losing her mind was actually you know she described this day as being like the best day of her life and um because she because during this um, near-death experience she saw jesus and she saw her sister who's who died who of suicide and you know she was talking about heaven and she managed she believed that she met god and god explained a ton of things to her but as soon as she woke up she forgot all this information you know someone like that is clearly mentally ill and clearly delusional and if the prosecutor are having conversations with someone and it's clear that they are seeing mental illness in someone um you know it's their job to go to trial and to try and put the other person in prison but if on the other hand you can actually see why the husband would want to put that person in prison you know if, if someone if you're married to someone for 20 years and you start seeing them lose their mind more and more and you know they're going to start getting dementia and that they're, they're going to but you you know that when the dementia sits in you know when a person gets to a certain age i think life insurance policies is much more higher because it, the, the chance of them dying is far far greater and, and therefore you know I, I feel like he could see this stepping in and she i don't know i don't know what, how long or I, I don't know but i feel like there's there's circumstances that made him feel tempted to think you know she wants to go to heaven she she wants to be with jesus she's going mad and and therefore i feel like even if he doesn't know how to explain himself very well maybe he doesn't know how to explain himself but i feel like i couldn't um i wouldn't be happy in that situation and, and i wish prosecutors instead of just being like this is my defendant i'm going to think of all the reasons why um you know he is in the right and and or why the other person should just go to prison for a long time but if you're defending someone who is describing this you know attempted murder as being the best day of your life you know i, I feel like if you're a reasonable decent person you would actually start sympathizing for the 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 victim the, the the perpetrator of the crime and and you'd be like well she wasn't really suffering she wasn't really this and so i i just i wish that the the people who who uh, were, were talking about the crimes and bringing the evidence forward were actually being realistic and and thinking how much suffering was she going through you know she, she obviously she believed she had a near-death experience and that she actually wanted to die and she was saying all this and therefore even though he's guilty of the crime of poisoning her you know if, if the test results come came back and if this is not just her delusion it's not you know if, if someone's talking about huge amounts of delusions it's hard to know the truth from the lies because the things that you think are truthful might end up might turn out to be hello i stopped working years ago i don't know why you've seen an ad No, sorry. No, sorry, sorry. Um, I don't know why people say that they're still seeing my ad. It shouldn't be up. So um, anyway, um, 
I, uh, yeah, if, if someone's, um, um, if someone's, what's it, um, yeah, if someone's in a, in a court and they're trying to, um, like, defend their defendant, but their defendant is obviously a bit senile, a bit having delusions, you know, I, I feel like you should do what's best for both people and, and not just be on, on the side of someone. You know, if you are defending someone and you think that they are trying to get someone in prison for way longer than they actually deserve, you know, I, I would love to see courts and, and the prosecutors not just defending their, their client. You know, I know they're getting paid to do a job by their client, but I just, you know, if you know that someone is lying and if you've seen tons of lies in, in their claim, you know, I know it's your job to support that person, but it, it shouldn't be a battle between who, who, you know, someone going to prison for, for a huge amount of time and, and someone clearly lying and exaggerating stuff to try and get them in prison for as long as possible, you know. And um, I just, are courts like this, you know, it's something that Andrew Tate said, actually. Andrew T Tate made a, something in his video yesterday. He said there was this woman and he was insulting the woman because he was saying that these are my problems, these are what I've, I've said. And, and the woman was basically just saying, um, it sounds like I'm not going to be able to help you because um, uh, because of all the things that you you are saying and and how you are acting. You know, I feel like you are going to have to face jail time. And he was insulting her, saying, oh, "I don't want a lawyer like that." So I went for a male one, trying to make out that it was all her her saying that because she was a woman and she was being too honest and and she need you need a man. And he was promoting this this male lawyer, this male lawyer that was that lawyer was that was going to come and just be like, yeah. I'll do it. This is what we'll do to try and get you out of it. So basically, he was deliberately choosing a lawyer that had no conscience, no sense of right or wrong, no sense of, um, you know, does does he deserve to go to prison for avoid evading tax and for treating women like crap? You know, I, I wish lawyers would be like if 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 they're defending a client who is clearly a monster and clearly has strangled women to, to the point of, um, you know, into, to the point of. Um, part, making them pass out against their will and continuing you know if you're f defending someone like that I know part of your job is to be on their side but if, if you shouldn't be on their side if you know that they actually deserve jail and, and if, if you're actually you know you should have some thin sympathy but both both the lawyers from both sides should should be should be nice people and, and should actually recognize that if someone deserves to be punished then you have to um yeah, you you have to you have to to, to to say the truth. I wish I wish lawyers were more truthful rather than just okay. My guy's done this, 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 and he's admitted to it, and we're just now just going to spend all our money trying to cover it up and pretend because that that's a crooked lawyer. That is a crooked lawyer, and crooked lawyers shouldn't exist. It, it shouldn't be a battle between um, you know someone doing what's someone doing what's right, trying to get justice, perhaps even revenge. You know, I mean, if if the lawyer thinks what what the crime is you know is, is probably justified for a year or two and the person's trying to get that person in jail for 10 years well then they can make a claim that the the, the lawyers should be more honest and, and say i think he did this but i don't think it was as bad as what the person's making out you know i i know that they're probably going to get fired from you know andrew tate would probably fire any lawyer that would show sympathy towards the victims um but the lawyers shouldn't be wanting to support people like Andrew Tate. If, if someone is just going to victimise people and then try and just cover up all their crimes, you know, he shouldn't be allowed, he shouldn't be able to find a lawyer that is, is willing to just cover up his claims and try and just get him off all, all the all the things that he's done. And, and, you know, he was promoting that lawyer as being amazing when, to me, that lawyer shouldn't exist. That lawyer should have sympathy for other people. And, and it's making me wonder, you know, with that case of the the woman who was was nearly killed by her husband, you know, it it, it is a sad story, and and that there, there definitely needs to be a restraining order on that guy, and they need to separate. And um, but yeah, if you're in that position, you you might be tempted. You know, a, a bad lawyer would say, right, let's just pretend that there's nothing wrong with this woman. She doesn't have delusions. She's not mentally ill. There's nothing wrong with her. She's just a normal person who's who's been murdered, who's been attempted. To, who's had her husband try to kill her, you know, a, a bad lawyer would just try and cover up all, all this, all his client's faults, whereas a good lawyer would actually be like, you know what, 
I'm, I'm confessing that she, she has, you know, she has said to me things like this was the best day of her life and stuff like this. And, and, um, and, and therefore, even though he, he is guilty of the crime, it shouldn't count as a, you know, a murder. If you're attempting to kill someone, you could get down, go down for like 20 years for it. And well, if you're, if, if the victim is describing that as being the death, best day of the, the life, you know, a bad cr lawyer, if, if a victim is describing that as the best day of her life, a bad lawyer will be like, don't say that in court, don't say that, keep that to ourselves, and, and we'll just, you know, we'll just focus on trying to get the guy in prison for 20 years, when it's just like, no, she, she's said that, you've heard it, you know that that's, that's the truth, she's obviously not, not well, she obviously wanted to die, she obviously, you know, and, and therefore the sentence should be far less, you know, he's had to put up with this. You, I wish lawyers would sympathise with both sides of the story, and, and corrupt lawyers that are only going to defend their client and, and not think about how guilty their client actually is you know I, I know you've got to believe that your client is 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 but you it should do it not because you're forcing yourself to believe something but because you actually believe something you know finding a good lawyer should be about finding a lawyer that actually believes your claim um, and and if you're confessing to your your lawyer that you you did all this stuff but you just want to cover it all up well no lawyer should want to defend you if that's if that's what you're like and and um it's just got me thinking about like how many lawyers it would be a good test you know if, if there's going to be some sort of test on lawyers you know how many I, I would love there to be some sort of some sort of test where you you know someone did not do something or maybe it's, you know someone did do something and then you just look to see how many lawyers would defend that person and, and try and cover up that person's crime even though that person confesses to the lawyer that they did do that crime, you know. I would, there should be some sort of test. If, if there's some sort of test on, on whether or not a lawyer is, is justified to, to or qualified to work as a lawyer, there should be some sort of, some sort of organisation that actually pretends to be someone who's say say pretending to be someone that's being accused of doing this and then you call them up have a bit of a chat say you know i have got this problem um someone's accusing me of doing this and it's true that i did do this um but i i'm going to say that i didn't you know how many lawyers would actually take the bait and be like okay yes i'll pay for, pay for you or it's like oh no no i'm not getting involved oh i'll give you 50 50 000 pounds or 100 000 pounds you know how many how many lawyers would actually get involved in this in this kind of scam and and you know there should be some sort of this shouldn't be allowed you know if the governments need to this is something that governments need to do stop stop lawyers from defending clients that they know are guilty of something and and are just um trying to hide their crimes for the sake of money you know uh, this this these types of you know if, if you're putting someone in prison for a long long time over something that I suppose if, if you're trying to get out of prison that's different if someone's going to if someone's trying to put you in prison for 10 years because of something you've done and you're telling your lawyer you have done it but um, you want to try and get no jail time at all um, you know defending someone to get them out of prison is different from defending someone to getting in in a prison you know if, if, if someone's um, saying I want uh, this person did this to me, um, but I, I I really am very very hard hurt, hurt by it, and I I want to try and get him in prison for ten years. And and if you're just thinking with her, so that guy hit you and and left a bruise on you that lasted for a week, and now you want to try and get him into prison for ten years. You know how many lawyers would actually be like, yeah, I don't think that's right. Like how how many people would support someone that would want to send someone to prison for 10 years for a bruise that lasted a week? You know, how many lawyers would want to, how many corrupt lawyers are there? I bet there's so many corrupt lawyers, but getting, punishing corrupt lawyers would be, would be something that I'd want. So I don't know how, how to set up a, a test or a trap to, to, to get rid of these people, but something that Andrew Tate has made me think about.